Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, welcome. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I contour and highlight using drugstore products. I usually don't always contour um, just because to me, contouring is something that I like to do when I really want to be like extra and really take my makeup to the next level. But for the most part, it's not something that I do all the time. It's not that I don't like it, it's just that I just find it to be very time consuming and honestly a lot of the times I think my makeup looks fine with a little bit of bronzer and my highlight. I do like to powder contour, however when I'm actually going to do a routine and when I actually want to sit there and say I'm contouring and highlighting today, I usually like to use cream products. So I'm going to be showing you guys today how I get that done. I really hope you guys enjoy the video and you find it very helpful for you. And if you want to see how I cream contour and highlight, then please keep watching. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I already went ahead and did my eye makeup and I also did my foundation because I'm actually in the middle of filming another video. You guys will see that either now or you'll see it after this video. I'm not sure which one I'm going to edit first, but if this eye makeup is already live, I'll make sure to leave it down below so you guys can check it out. So for contouring, what works best for me is using a product that is at least two to three, maybe even four shades darker than my skin tone. However, when contouring, it's really important that you're not using anything that is way too orange or way too red because that's what's going to give you that muddy look. If you use a contouring product that is too gray and you're of a very warm skin tone like me, that can also really look muddy. So it's kind of like damned if you do, damned if you don't. You really have to pay attention to what works for your skin tone. For me, I like to use something that's in the middle, not too warm, not too cool. So I use this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Cafe. This is all definitely variable based on your skin tone and your face shape. But this is what works best for me. You can definitely take some tips and tricks from this and apply them to your own face and see if they work. But remember, you can always shift things and see what works best for you. If you don't like certain features on your face, you want to make sure you contour them because that's what's going to help shade and hide them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this all over the perimeter of my face I'm also going to use it to carve out my cheekbones. The highlighting, I'm going to go ahead and use the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. Mine is in the shade Light Medium. I also really, really like the Fit Me in Medium and in Sand. I just don't happen to have any of those right now. I can't find either one of them, and I'm so mad because I plan on using both of them, but I can't find them. But I also really like this concealer, too, so I wanted to use it. I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my under eye area. And again, you're doing this really to bring forward and really help conceal that under eye area and brighten it up. I'm going to put that in the center and bring it up to the top of my forehead here because what happens is once I blend out all the brown, it's going to look almost too brown on my face. It's going to bring a lot of warmth to my face. So I like to use a little bit of the white in the center just to really help balance that out. I'm going to put some on my chin. If you do not like your chin or you feel like your chin is too long or it's too like... Um, pokey or anything like that. I'm not even trying to be mean when I say this. If you just don't like the way that your chin looks, you might want to skip this step because this is really going to bring forward your chin. Because like I said, anywhere where you're using that highlighting color, you're going to bring that part of your face forward. And if you don't like that feature of your face, then don't use the highlighting color there. Now I'm just going to take my damp beauty sponge to blend all of this out. I always find that using a damp beauty blender or a beauty sponge is really going to help absorb all the extra product and it's also what's going to help it look most natural. But I like to push the product into my skin and kind of pounce on it. I am not gentle at all so if it looks like I'm punching myself in the face it's probably because I am. It's great. If you don't know or you're having trouble figuring out where your cheekbones are, suck your face in kind of like a fish. Like this. And then you'll be able to see how that creates that line that shows you where your cheekbone should be. Now that I went ahead and I blended everything out, I'm just going to take some of my Cody Airspun Face Powder. I love this loose powder. It's absolutely amazing. I've raved about it one too many times, so I'm going to save you guys the rant, but it's amazing. If you can put up with smells, then you'll be able to put up with this. It has a very, like, pretty prominent, like, old lady, like, powder smell, but it really goes away after you apply it, and it's just so, so good. I'm just going to apply this on my under eye area. 
And I'm applying this because I do have oily combination skin. And I tend to get most oily on my T-zone. So because of that, I always put some powder mainly on my T-zone because I ain't got time for none of this to be like melting off. Now what I'm going to do is just bronze up my face. And as you can see, it has a lot more color and it looks a lot more sculpted out because of the contouring and highlighting. But just to add a little bit more bronzeness to my face, I'm going to take the NYC Sunny Bronzer. This is like one of my staples. Like I cannot live without this bronzer. I love it so much. Honest to God, I don't even know if they still sell at the drugstore. This is like my fourth backup, and I'm already running a big fat hole through it. If I go to the drugstore and they don't sell this anymore, I swear to God, I'm going to be that crazy woman that has to speak to somebody's manager. You can totally skip this step, but I just, I just like to be bronzed. For blush, I'm going to use Milani's Luminoso. And for highlight, I'm going to be using the Mary Luminizer. This is the only thing that isn't from the drugstore, and I'm sorry. But I really wanted to use this highlighter today. If you're looking for something from the drugstore that's really, really good, I really recommend the Wet n Wild highlighters. My favorite one right now is the um, Precious Petals. It's amazing. So you guys, it's pretty much going to complete my drugstore cream contour video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful and maybe learned a thing or two. Please don't forget to thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel. I'm uploading videos one to two times a week now, so hit that little bell so you're notified every single time I upload. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!